Hi, I'm Ari Stonitzer, Managing Director at CME Group. Just under a year ago, we announced that CME Group would move our technology portfolio to Google Cloud. We have an aggressive timeline for our transition, and along with Deloitte and Google Cloud, we've been working hard to deliver on our commitments. We're working not just to improve our technology, but change how we work, creating a more outcome-focused process that helps CME Group customers use our products more efficiently, more securely, and in ways that better meet their needs. What I want to talk about today is how we created a new outcome-oriented system of architecting, migrating, and training our teams on Google Cloud. We did it to serve our customers better, and I believe our method has important lessons for many of you watching today. First, let me tell you a little bit about CME Group. As one of the largest financial exchanges in the world, CME Group is the only exchange where every major asset class can be traded on a single platform. Our futures and options products help customers manage risk across commodities, interest rates, currencies, energy, metals, and many other asset classes. And our markets create data and information that is then used by traders, financial institutions, farmers, governments, news organizations, and anyone interested in critical aspects of the global economy. In some cases, our customers use our applications directly, or they might use our data and information from other providers. In fact, one of the many reasons we partnered with Google Cloud is its strong capabilities in data, with a goal of increasing developer productivity, increasing software flexibility, and improving operational excellence while maintaining the highest levels of security. Many of you know the adage, security, resiliency, and velocity, pick two. Well, this is an effort to be able to get all three. To make it even more interesting, and I don't think I'm alone, we wanted to move from development to production in just a few months with limited resources and internal staff who were gaining GCP experience on the fly with still an on-prem system to support. And of course, all of that using a mixture of GCP native services, legacy systems on-prem, and a number of third-party tools. It's sort of like maintaining a jet engine in flight while transforming the fuel system and training the ground crew all at the same time. So here's what we did. We started with principles. What are the outcomes we're trying to achieve? What kind of experience do we want our customers to have? When you're passionate about customers like we are, the opportunity to enhance our technology and improve our customer experience is quite motivating. The experience we want them to have is software they can easily access at scale to make better decisions. So working with Deloitte, we built a cloud experience team designed to bridge our application and platform teams. The goal was not only to improve the productivity of our platform team, allowing them to focus on their delivery, but to increase the velocity of our application migration teams as well. The CloudX team was the first thing we set up, ensuring there was proficiency in both platform and software tools, and a common set of goals to be able to communicate to other teams. They also act as a central point of questions, building a repository for documentation, for self-service training. The CloudX team is made up of CME Group and Deloitte team members with application, operational, and GCP knowledge who support application migrations in an outcome-oriented, sustainable way. Each team member has specific expertise, which underlines the importance of initial team selection. Working with the application teams, the CloudX team embeds and helps in the delivery of software and Google Cloud services. If questions arise, the CloudX team not only answers them, but documents what was done so others can learn and deliver faster. The mantra is experiment, learn, share quickly. With the CloudX team supporting the application teams, our platform team can focus on their delivery. This approach increases confidence in delivery, 
while overcoming many of the ramp up challenges common in a cloud migration. So how do we judge the success of this approach? We wanted better productivity and track that by ticket resolution. Issues have cleared faster than we projected. Applications are growing in depth and capability and people are spending more time on their core delivery rather than context switching. We wanted an effective support and training process to quickly bring team members up to speed on Google Cloud. Centralizing support with the CloudX team allowed us to enhance training while providing a sustainable outcome-oriented delivery model. We wanted fast adoption. I mentioned that we had an aggressive timeline for bringing CME Group to Google Cloud. And I'm pleased to say that we're pretty much on schedule with increasing velocity. Maybe even more important, I think we'll arrive at our goal to deliver more and better customer products and experiences thanks to our adoption framework. Based on our success, here's what I can recommend you remember. One, there's already a lot of knowledge in your organization and there's a hunger to deliver and learn more by your teams. Leverage that by connecting with all of your teams through a central group that is focused on the key outcome of customer experience. Share information and practices to ensure consistency of performance. Two, everyone learns a little bit differently in their roles. So you want to allow healthy experimentation. That means asking questions, trying things, and above all, sharing learnings and outcomes. That is the start of building your team's best practices. Lastly, success in technology always comes from a healthy blend of understanding your customers' problems and knowing how technology can solve them. Outcome-oriented adoption is a consistent blend of those things with a common framework of delivery. Thank you very much for your time and good luck in your efforts. See you in the cloud.